comment below if I'm the only one who feels that way like I hate black rags it's just dirty like it just attracts dirt I don't know I want to see like my body being clean Welcome back to another video. I am outside. It's hot. It's not hot, but it's breezy and it's hot in this car. So I got my window down. Today it's a hygiene vlog day, okay? So we're gonna go to Target um, and I'm gonna show you guys the products that I use. I have to re up on some products. The Most of the products I have at home, but I need like a couple of things that I have on my list that I just set. Um, I probably add two more things because Target tells you what you need. Tell Target what you need, it tells you what you need. So, um, hopefully I don't, like, really overdo it because I have so much stuff at home. Thank you for tuning in. If you are new here, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you're not new here, welcome back. I appreciate your support. Comment down below some content you guys want me to do, what you want to see, um, and all that good stuff. But, yeah, so we're going to go to Target right now. Um, I might pick up a smoothie because when I'm at Target, I always have to have, like, a drink because it's just like it's a vibe it's a little vibe it's actually sunday also so like i'm doing my sunday reset and all my like hygiene self-care maintenance routine my hair looks a mess but that's gonna get done soon but yeah y'all so we're gonna go to target um i'm gonna add a couple more items to my list because i added like five things i just have to pick up like two more um and I also want to try this body wash that I'm going to show you guys when I'm in Target. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And like I said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you guys. And stay tuned. Like, comment, and subscribe if you are new here. Thank you so much for tuning in, for tapping. And hi guys welcome back to another video it is your girl capri naomi if you are new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe we are back with another video if you have been watching my videos thank you so much i love you guys get you guys so much and like i said don't forget to like comment subscribe comment down below and stay tuned for just great great content disclaimer if you have sensitive skin if you have eczema Keep watching this video because it flares up a lot so I don't use a lot of scented products but I work my way around smelling good and smelling like something except for just skin. So definitely stay tuned and like I said thank you for tuning back and I love you guys and next clip. Alright so the first product I'm going to go with is my sugar scrub. It's everything y'all like if you know you know Tree Hut just makes the best products ever. Um, this is a dragon fruit one and it looks like an actual dragon fruit it has like the black season it and it's just so good like smells like Lee's new perfume the um pink one the heart rock candy one whatever it's called it smells so bomb so i like to use this um i like to exfoliate my skin a lot because honestly y'all i don't like having dead skin i sweat it's hot it's summertime so exfoliating your skin just allows new skin to come in you're shedding the dead weight and honestly i exfoliate at least like once a week probably three times in a month depending on if I shave or if I wax so yeah definitely run don't walk my next one is the vanilla tree hut this smells so bomb y'all like I didn't open it yet because I just got this in Target as you guys seen but they have one I was already open and <laughs> it smells so good I never used this before this is my first using it but I do like hydrating um body washes combs like everything that's just like foam up on your skin i love so i definitely wanted to try this and vanilla goes with everything and the fragrances that pairs with this also like i'm very conscious i don't use a lot of scents but i do make sure that like what i do put on my body i can spray perfume and shit basically but yeah this one i heard it's so good so i'm definitely going to come back to review it for you guys in my next vlog so stay tuned the next wash that i use this is my holy grail like no double holy grail but this is my holy grail this is the native eucalyptus and mint I love this one. This one is the coconut one. Y'all, I'm a fanatic. This smells like everything. Like, whew, I just love minty. Like, just, whew, 
but yeah this is good so my girls with eczema if you have a hard time a body wash that's like really good and just like has less chemicals and harsh in your skin definitely buy the native it smells so bomb i love native native if you watching this sponsor me send me some products because this is not the only product that i have that i like so yeah but me this smells so good so native um eucalyptus and mint the whole brand i would recommend um also um also a little goes a long way with stuff like that because it's a lot that comes out and you don't be buying no no body wash every day so definitely a little goes a long way lathering and, and it's just chef's my next holy girl product would be this the dove this is the dove and the cucumber scent and everybody has this product like if you don't have it you need to go get it because this is like the staple piece from when i was a kid um i don't use bar soap as much but i definitely do use this um this smells so good it's hydrating this is the body wash micro moisture cucumber and green tea i said i don't really do a lot of scents so if i do a do a good scent it's going to be minty or like a cucumber vanilla warm scent so for my bubble bath girlies yes i'm talking to you i love me a good bubble bath i don't care what nobody says it's not dirty if you just soak your body all day and you don't scrub yes that is dirty but if you soak your body you soak your body and take a shower you're not gonna it's not dirty you need to soak the skin off you need to just sit and relax so my girls who like bubble baths i love you this dr tills this is a um what is this this is the epsom salt this is so good and lavender is really good especially at nighttime because supposedly lavender puts you to sleep so i'm a lavender girl for the nighttime i don't like lavender scents though i can tell you that like i don't like sprays as lavender perfume like none of that i don't like so um i actually need to go buy more of these um they smell so good they have a eucalyptus one that goes good with the native and it makes like your body feel so mint it makes your body feel so minty but i definitely like this one because it does put you to sleep and they also have a spray that i used to have that you put in your pillows and like you just knock out um so i definitely recommend this brand definitely use some epsom salt especially for my girls who work out um who get sore a lot definitely invest in that is really good next for my shaving girlies i haven't shaved in a minute because i have been getting waxed and i don't really use like my shaving stuff this eels cream is so bomb so bomb like when i tell you smells so good um i would recommend using a little bit because if you get this in your chocha yeah you know the rest um yeah don't use this in your vagina just use it on the outside and it works really well um it's very foamy like i'm just and like it's really thick so i love thick 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 creams because I just know that you're not prone to cut yourself with a razor, but this honestly goes good with a lot of razors, razors that I do have. I don't have because I do throw out my razors, guys. Like, make sure you are throwing out your products, your old products, whatever it is that you had for a long time. Throw that out because that's not good on your skin and it's not going to work or be as sharp as when you first bought it. So definitely invest in razors, but do it often, okay? You don't want to break out. You don't want bumps. You don't want that little ingrown hair. You don't want none of that. So definitely change lasers, but like I said, I wax. I haven't shaved in a minute. So, <clears throat> but yeah, so I wax. I haven't shaved in a minute, so I definitely don't have any razors. I threw it out, but if I did use razors, it's the colorful pack. I think it's the Soul something. I'll insert a picture here right now. Insert a picture. Boom. And yeah, that's the only razor that I use. But other than that, I think I'm a waxer girl now, y'all. Like, waxing just makes me feel so beautiful. Like, the paint sucks, but I just feel so beautiful. So, yeah. The Alufa. And, yes, I use rags. I guess I use an exfoliating rag as well. Um, my exfoliating rag was in my previous video. And I also have one from Amazon. I'm going to show below. Um, yeah, this is my holy grail. Especially when I'm, like, exfoliating my skin. This is a new one because my other one was dirty. Um, and I just love these. I feel like it's so good. It's so, like good with thick products especially products like this is good to lather up with because it just gives your body that foamy clean feeling that you want but i also use rags and to be honest y'all i only use white rags i don't use like colorful rags because i feel like white is pure so all my towels will be white my rags will be white and that's really about it you know comment below from the only one who feels that way like i hate black rags i feel like it's just dirty like it just attracts dirt 
I don't know. I want to see like my body being clean, but comment below if I'm the only one who thinks that. So I don't know. All right, next we're going to discuss mouth hygiene, okay? Which is very important, y'all. Don't skip it. Don't go around it. No shortcuts. Brush your jibs, okay? Jibs. Um, this is a toothpaste that I do use. This is the 3D White Crest. I'm obsessed with this toothpaste. I feel like it does work and does it definitely makes your mouth minty as heck and it does make your teeth whiter. Um, maybe I'm just delusional, but... But no, this is a deep clean. This is a, it says it removes 90% stains. Um, if you're a coffee drinker like I am, definitely invest in this because this is so good. And I like the minty feeling. I don't like toothpaste that doesn't burn my mouth. Not saying I burn in a bad way, but like I don't like not feeling minty. Like when I'm talking to you, you're gonna smell mint. Okay, yeah. So definitely the value two pack. I always like like a good sale. So definitely on sale Walgreens. And I also got this new one, y'all. The new one is really good. This is a charcoal one. This is the Crest one charcoal 3D white. Um, I had a charcoal toothpaste, but it stained everything. Like my sink, my mirror, it was stained. But this one is really good. Like it's really thick, really minty. And yeah, charcoal is really good for your teeth. Um, not every brand is good for your teeth, but to be honest, so far, I like this. So these two are my go-to. Um, floss. Okay. These I got for like a dollar in Walgreens. It's the fine floss for tight teeth. My teeth are tight. I don't have as much, I don't even have gaps to be honest, but I don't like using use the floss as well. I feel like I'm creating a gap in my tooth. So uh, this is the mint flavor and I like all my flosses with mint flavor. I don't care what nobody say. If it ain't mint, don't give it to me. But definitely I love this floss. It works really well and it has like the angle thing at the end that you can, let me see. This angle thing at the end. Um, that you can just like dig and stuff like that and clean your teeth with. So definitely floss after you eat. Floss at night is very important. Floss in the daytime is even more important. I floss twice a day. I think it should be three times a day, but I do twice a day because I do forget when I'm at work. But definitely floss your teeth. Like gingivitis is a real thing. Gum disease is a real thing. Bad breath is also a real thing. You don't want neither or. Floss your jibs. Next, I have this grin tongue scraper that looked like it been through everything. It like it went through hell and back it did <laughs> but this is so good i like to use it directly after i brush my teeth my tongue is wet um this honestly is very gentle because i used one before and my tongue was so sore so i was just like okay no i'd rather just brush my tongue and scrub it but this these are a game changer and i feel like it works really well um i usually don't like to brush my teeth and then scrub my tongue because i feel like i just clean my teeth I like i just clean my teeth so i don't put what i clean my teeth on my tongue i don't know i was weird like that but now this tongue scraper is really good. I love um it works and I definitely would recommend doing this after you brush your teeth. 10 out of 10. Next, I got my favorite mouthwash that I use, which is a dentist formulated deep cleanse or rinse. It's so good. This is the fresh mint one. This is my first time actually trying this scent because I always get the blue one, the dark blue one, the light blue one, and the pink one. The pink one. But this one is really good. And when I tell you fill the mint, you're going to fill the mint in this one. It's really good. I would recommend it. I have these wipes. These are the flushable wipes for your chocha. Um, these are really good as well. This is like if you pooped or if you peed. And sometimes people don't think that wiping with a dry tissue is enough. So you got to have an extra backup. But these are very good. I like these a lot because it's plant-based with fibers. You can find this anywhere or different brands. But I like organic brands is because... It's sensitive down there. You don't need scents. You don't have to be a lavender. You don't have to smell like roses. Water. Water, 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 water. Water scents is what you need down there. You don't need to smell like a garden. You just pooped. Why would you want to smell like a garden? I don't know. But I'm very simple when it comes to my lights and what I use them. So I definitely carry a lot of these in my car and at work because, y'all... I have a phobia of like touching dirty tissues. You know how you're in the bathroom and you're in a restaurant and then somebody comes out of the stall and still a piece of tissue hanging? No, I'm the type that I literally just like take off the tissue and just like get another like fresh roll. I don't, <laughs> I don't like touching stuff and seeing how nasty people are. Definitely like mindful like okay, no, absolutely not. So definitely invest in wipes. You don't got to use nobody else's tissues, worry about who was touching that before, what they had, and 
what they did and people don't wipe themselves also i think these go a long way because if you want to open the door wipe so definitely use those next for my body care routine i have uh this scrub this scrub the same eyes is my holy grail this is the best exfoliating and i feel like my face is sensitive and it does have a thing of peeling this this St. Ives, 10 out of 10. And I love this apricot scent. It just smells so good. And you can honestly put this anywhere in your body, but I put it on my face. Um, it deeply exfoliates, removes impurities for glowing skin, and it's dermatologist tested. So definitely love this. My holy grail. This also was in my last video. So some of these products are definitely a repeat. De Next, um, for hygiene, I have my antibacterial wipes, which, guys... I'm going to say it again. People are nasty out here. You always carry these in your car. Take some in a Ziploc bag. Put it in your purse. Whatever it is. Always carry wipes because people are disgusting. And we touch so much stuff. Especially me pumping gas. I'm patient. I'm dealing with germy kids sometimes. It's a lot. So definitely use this because it goes a long way. Brand is from BJ's if I'm not mistaken. My friend gave me these. But I also have another one that I use. Um, and I got that from Very Clean Girl. Not a dirty girl. Okay, guys. So next, I have my body care, which is a lot. Um, I'm going to start off with my Jerkins because this is my holy grail. Jerkins Original Scent Cherry Almond. Argue with yourself. Don't ever argue with me. This is like the best scent ever. It smells so good. I wasn't really a fan of this smell because I'm like, mm, it's nothing. But this makes your skin so good. Like I said, my eczema girlies, thank me later. And it's crazy because I feel like some scents just lays on people's skin differently. But like this... It smells so good. I love the almondy, nutty scent. Like, that's just me. So that's really my top lotion that I use, especially at night when my body is, like, about to lay down, about to get in the bed. And, like, you know, I love that lotion. I also have this EOS lotion. FYI, I don't use a lot of lotions. I stick to two because I don't want to risk my skin having a flare-up or, you know, breaking out anywhere. can afford it. But this EOS lotion, tuh. Mm-hmm. Vanilla cashmere so good it says soothing protection for dry skin which in my opinion this does work for dry skin because a lot of lotions will have you still looking ashy but the way this smells y'all oh it smells like birthday cake like if you ever had the ice cream that's exactly what it smells like and what it tastes like the ice cream is what this smells like so good i like to pair this with anything vanilla <gasps> y'all i can try this and this together definitely pair this together so i'm gonna try that tonight actually oh no i'm gonna wait to the weekend but i'm gonna try that together because vanilla and cashmere with vanilla oh. <laughs> ah, i'm gonna smell so good <laughs> all right so the next moisturizer i have boom trader joe's brazilian nut now this 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 remind me of the tropicals like it just remind me of like bahamas Curacao. This smells so good. This has acai and extracts. I'm not too sure what that is, but it has a delightful salted caramel and pistachio scent. And it definitely has a pistachio scent. It smells so bomb. Like this paired with this. Because you still need to moisturize your skin. It's not going to just be good for your skin. I feel like this is only good for like right here, your chest area, as you can areas where people will hug you. Because this is like a body butter. But to me, I don't put body butters all over my body. I just put, like, my lotions all over my body. That makes sense. This one smells good on your arm. Like, you know, your common areas where people will smell and will see more often. I love this. I didn't get this until this year, but I know that last year came out. And I had the body scrub to it. <laughs> the best. Okay. This next scent is this Bum Bum Pink one, the Baccarat dupe. I had this for a minute. Like, literally, it's a lot in there. And this is a cute carry, like a carry lotion to me. Like, you put it in your bag, boom. Your little tote, your long champ, boom. Throw it in the bag. This smells so good. I also have the spray, so I definitely pair the two together to get that strong, like, Baccarat dupe scent. And it smells so good. Um, This is the... What scent is this? I'm not too sure. It's like a collagen lotion to me. Like, it makes your skin youthful and moisturize your skin i don't use this for moisture i just use this for a scent to be honest so the product that i have is vaseline 
can never go wrong with Vaseline. You know, you get into a fight, grease your face up or whatever. But no, I'm joking. I use the Baby Healing Jelly because I feel like babies have like the best gentle products, especially when you have eczema, when you have like itchy skin, dry skin. I like to use products that have baby stuff because baby stuff tends to have less harsh chemicals. Not every brand sticks by that, but usually that's the point of it all. So this smells like baby powder, to be honest. I'm not a fan of baby powder, but this does a job. Vaseline, always needed. Moisturize your elbows, your knees. Don't be a dry whore. Be a clean whore. A moisturized whore. Just joking. <laughs> Alright, so next product I got is for makeup. To so remove your makeup, I have this Garnier Micellar Water, which is very, like, known and popular. I think everybody has this on this, so this is nothing new. But I definitely do use this, and I also use my Clinique that I got from Sephora. I like Clinique. I got the mini one because I didn't know how it would care with my skin because I used... What did I use? I used something before, and it made my skin dry, like, dry out. And I think I have witch hazel in it, which is so weird. But like I said, what may work for you may not work for me. But this Clinique is to go. It's bomb. It's to die for. For lids, lashes, and lips. And honestly, lashes to me is the hardest thing to take off. Because you can literally scrub your eye and still have mascara all on your eyelashes. And my thing is, you don't want to get no infections. Um, especially when I use certain lashes, like the Fenty um, mascara. The Fenty mascara eats down. It's a lot that I put on. This is the only makeup remover that makes sure I have nothing on after. And I love it so much. So I'm definitely going to use this tonight because I have some makeup on. A little bit of makeup. Not too much. But I'm definitely going to use this tonight. Um, this will be in my skincare routine video when I vlog it. Um, and show you guys how it works. So I'm going to get a bigger bottle. But now I'm just going to finish my micellar water. And just make sure that I, you know, don't waste no products. Next I have this Mario Badescu face, Facial Aloe Chamomile and Lavender Spray. This is everything to me. That's cool. His stuff is so good. Um, I usually use this after I moisturize my face and like settle down. But this smells so bomb. And I tell you, I'm not a lavender girl at all. Like at all. But it's more of a minty smell than a lavender smell. Um, but this definitely works. Moisturize your skin. It kind of gave me like sudden spray. It just seals my moisture, my moisture in. Um, definitely invest in a bigger one. I have a big one green, but I like this one. I feel like this one just gives me that extra glow on my face, which I love. Now I have hair. Trust me. This is my holy grail. Like, legit. I love Trust me. I got this on sale. Buy two and save. This was like $6 in Target. If you have the um, rewards app, it's definitely going to go down to like $4. But I don't use a lot of stuff in my hair. Like I said, I'm a very simple person because... When you use so much products, you don't know what would break, what you're allergic to, what would clog your pores, what would give you acne, what would make you itch, flare up. Like, I'm, all my eczema girlies, please listen. Don't try too many products. Try one product at a time. So if you do, something do happen, you know, okay, I've had this last. This was in my hair last. But you don't want to be one of those girls and notice too late. Okay, so I'll just recommend Tresemme conditioner and wash can't go wrong this smells like everything like i'm obsessed with this and i've been using this since i was a little kid and i haven't had a problem with it since so definitely you know take heed and thank you guys so much for tuning into my video like i'm so happy i'm so blessed you guys are here don't forget to like comment and subscribe and definitely recommend some products below that you guys use especially if you have dry to oily skin like me definitely recommend some products and I can't wait to just show you more because I have so much products that I want to show you guys. Um, some of it is duped from my last video, so I didn't really want to repeat anything. But most likely, the products you're seeing now is the products you didn't see at all, with the exception of like two. But yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Love you guys so much. I'm going to see you guys in another video. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.